so today we are going to discuss the clone and clonable so a class which implements the clonable interface why why does a class implements a clonable interface this is a question in our mind so it just uh, implements the a class just implements the clonable interface for only one purpose it just want to indicate to the object dot clone method that it is legal for me to access that method okay so it is a like implementing the clonable interface is like a pass like a uh, means i card to enter in this object dot clone method or we can say access this object dot clone method so the it is just that okay but uh we cannot invoke that clone method because it is mm, uh without implementing the clonable interface because then then we mean it means that the class is not clonable that is it it is not legal there is no i i card so we cannot allow it to enter so clone not supported exception is being thrown and we we should override why we should override the reason i have explained in my previous lecture which is which was called java protected access something like that so so you refer that lecture for why we should override this protected thing i think it is clear in that so thank you this is, that's all